Right, hello everyone, I am Mech. And this is Johnny. And we play games for funsies. For funsies, baby. Yeah, so we're gonna continue on with uh, Reseteer here. Yep, so far um, we've opened the item shop, we've cleared a dungeon, and now we're gonna come back and try to see if we can sell some of these items. Yeah, cool. let's see. All okay, right. just go, yeah, just load the game. Yeah, uh, open up the first file. What we'll do, no, you have to actually oh, press it's all, it's all on keyboard? It. Yeah. Sweet. Let me get yeah. this out of the way. You turn yeah. that off, right? What we'll do is, whoa. What we'll do is, for the second, um, mm -hmm. I forgot what I was going to say. Alright, cool. So I opened the store. Oh, you opened the store again. <laughs> I hope you're planning on selling the stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what is this? A wooden shield? Yep. For wooden your daughter-in-law? Okay, so the idea is to upsell. Right. Yeah, so... You don't want to give it to him at base price. No, I didn't. I charged him extra 100 bucks. Okay. Yeah. He paid, he paid an extra 28%. Okay, cool. Man, this old man just... Dude, he wants what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're such a... Dude, what? I told you, it's one... Okay, these girls, you want to stay low for these. Keep it low? Okay, yeah, something you guys might want to know for the, for these girls, right? Uh-huh. Is they are dirt poor. So you want to keep oh. it around, like, 110%. So you still want to make a profit. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's oh, good. Okay. See, the trick to these guys is if you keep making them happy, eventually you'll be able to rise, raise their prices Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Understood. So, that's why it's like, yeah, you kind of have to see them as an investment. Okay. Holy cow, it's late. Oh, that's you, man. Oh, yes. Uh, Holy cow, it's late. Time seemed to fly by today. Speaking of time... I plan on doing some mild schedule management for you from now on to... Ensure you are working in an effective manner to pay back the debt. Schedule management? Yeah. <laughs> Quite. First... I have broken up the day into four time periods. She's it all on her own. Morning, afternoon, evening, and all night. Alright, fair enough. This guy's creeping me out through that window, dude. Like, he's yeah. walking back and forth. What can you do, and how... Yeah, I just realized this is more tutorials. Yeah, we this, can just blaze this, this up. Yeah, yeah the cool. clock's broken. Four areas. Okay, got it. Yeah. Think of each part as a slice of time. I'll just read this part. A yeah. slice? No, oh, make it a while. Okay. Indeed, I thought I would be able to keep your attention if I made it rather similar to the sort of sweet food. There's also something morning. Uh, 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 deep deep yep, 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 yep. I'm, anyway, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Really, you can get between. Uh, okay. Night ends, you need to go to bed, trying to run a shop. Oh, sleep deprived is unpleasant, so I'd say I can open a lay. Uh, essentially, I have two options for each slice. You can open the store for a time or go about your town for business. You can also do both. You can do both at once. Can I, can I actually run the store? Yeah. To be clear, opening a shop will consume a slice, so returning to the store after going out, regardless of what you actually do, will also consume a slice. What if I go to, like, the plaza and then to the chapel? That's okay. You can get around, you can town, around enough. town easily enough to avoid consuming a slice with each move. <laughs> Only when you return to the store will the clock advance. So right now we're getting some tutorial. Um, yeah. Learning how to play. Yeah. Okay. Basically, all she's saying is that like, like okay, the day is split into four areas. Whenever okay. you do something, it takes up a slice. Okay. When you go outside, even if you don't do anything outside, but and you come okay. back, it still takes up. So a if slice. I want to progress the day, I just walk out of my door and yeah. come back in. And if you go out to a dungeon, it takes up two slices. Ah. Okay. So. Open so you, the morning, you want to go like? Ah, okay. Yeah. Maybe in the morning and then the second. Right. Day. And then maybe sell something at night. Okay. I can do this. So guys, for the record, Mech has played a little bit of this game before. This is my first run. Um, so I'm kind of just blazing through. I don't like to read. <laughs> yeah. So I'm kind of moving through this as quickly as possible. Because um, I want to get back in that dungeon, as you guys saw last time. I was going to tear it up with our boy. I forgot his name. What was his name? Uh, Louie. Louis. Louis. Louis, the Jamaican Frenchman. <laughs> yeah, the Jamaican Frenchman. The, the, the Jamaican... All right, Jamaican so, adventure. I'm in love with opening the store, by the way. Like, this is my favorite thing in the world right now. Yeah. It's just selling these guys stuff for, like, stupid amounts of money. These guys are a little nicer, but you still want to keep it relatively low. Okay. Like, yeah, so, like, these guys you want to stay right below that threshold of, like, 130%. Of 130? Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey I know this guy. You got, money, hard though, mm -hmm. you got money, though, dog. You got money, though, dog. 
You could you could buy that one thirty. Bruh. One twenty nine. <laughs> Bruh. Let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. One penny. Yeah. So if you like keep doing that. Mm -hmm. It will actually improve your chances of upselling it next time. Okay. You, you'll see like a little heart thing come up. This guy, you still want to keep upselling with him. But you definitely want to sell this. Right. Right, because it's going to make him stronger, right? Yeah. Actually, no, it'll bring him down. Uh, no, it brings him up. See? Uh, defense and then magic defense goes up. Oh, so defense goes down, magic defense goes up. Right. Got you. Uh, I mean, but you still want to sell it. You, just, you still want to make some bank, man. Right. Okay, keep in mind, this guy is poor. Don't, like... I mean, you don't want to, like, just give him nothing. 235 is straight, right? Um, that might be safe. No. See? Okay. Whew. That was tough. Good there, yeah. Because they only give you one especially shot, good right? when he start when he starts, like, uh, buying weapons and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. God, this sucks, man. I just want to sell stuff. Oh, then. oh, cool. You went up a level. I saw that. So what does yeah. that mean for me now? Explain it to you. Okay. Oh, it's this point. Yeah, so you, people can sell you stuff now. Oh, and, that's right. It is an item shop. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm buying any of your trash. I can haggle them down, right? Yeah, you can. Okay. It's the same concept. You just got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the same concept. It's like when someone tells you, you can you haggle sell when them, selling something. And then okay. You try to get it down to like maybe. Haggled down. This just has like 60%. Okay. I almost said 60%. 60%? Ooh. It's What's 60. your mind on Saturday night, baby? Yeah. 60%. So how was your week, man? Uh, my week was okay. Okay. How was your week? Good, good. You need any good gaming in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I finished Persona 3. Sweet. That I know you've cool. been playing that. Yeah. Uh, eventually... Eventually our plan, we don't have a capture card right now, but eventually our plan is to get that, get a, get, because uh, I have a PlayStation 2, we'll go ahead and play that. Okay. I also got Ratchet and Clank that just came in today, so. Ratchet I'm, and Clank. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see, what else is new? Oh, t today, just earlier today, uh, I worked on a PSP. For those of you who don't know, I, um. Something I kind of do in my spare time is I repair electronics, specifically uh, old game consoles and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like my PS2 that I got, um, actually the um, disc drive wasn't working, and I got it to work. It, it, the I got it off eBay for like twenty bucks, and uh, yeah, I just cleaned the laser and it worked fine. So now I have a PS2. Hey, there you go. Yeah. So anyway, today I've been working on a, a PSP. So how challenging would you say it is to do the PS2? Not challenging, not challenging at all. all. Yeah, okay. it's literally you just take a, take the cover off, mm -hmm. um, take the top of the uh, disc drive off, and then clean it. Okay. At least that particular job was easy. Um, switching out the laser is a little more complicated, but which I didn't have to do fortunately, so I got to save money on that. Okay. My next challenge that I'm getting mm -hmm. going to deal with. Um, I got a. How do I go to sleep? An, no, you got you got one more. Oh, it's like an opening again? Yeah. Oh, dude, I love this. So, uh, next thing I got coming in. Oh, this. Hold on, this is a new guy. We should get he a new, new voice. He looks like he uh has money. Yeah. Um. You had one of these. Board, 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 board. All right. So. Oh, hold on, I forgot it. Oh, oh I just realized something, dude. So if I don't pay attention, they could be trying to sell me something. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like he wants to buy this, right? Yeah, so keep... Yeah, these guys, that, that's actually a decent price there. Okay. Let's say stick with that. Deal. See? It okay, out. okay, it did work out pretty well. I'm starting to make some yeah. dough. You're right, the weapons do go for a lot more, dude. Yeah. Hey, this guy's back. Okay. Buying the cheap stuff. Right, right then. <laughs> uh, okay, I suddenly decided I want to change everybody's voice. He is going to be Hank Hill. Okay. Um, that other guy was the Swedish chef. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tear's voice, the, the voice I was doing for Tear, it's just not going to work. Too much? <laughs> too too high-pitched for me. Too high to maintain? Ah, that's fine. Yeah. I'll save it for the little girls. 
That's fine. Yeah, I'll do the, like, painfully shrill <laughs> voices. Just like real little girls. We have more porridge, please. Yeah. And Exceed some boys. <laughs> Alright, cool. Some adult men. Some adult men. Day four. Alright, cool. So, I'm opening day four. I have about $7,000 to my name. Yeah. Uh, my shop's pretty much empty, so... Mech, well, should we go out and uh, make, some, make some more items happen? Uh, yeah. I'd recommend... It might be a good idea to get to a dungeon. Oh, before you do, you should probably save your game. W. Did that no look. No look W, guys. 360 no scope. That's not... That this is, is so thing. not even where I need to be. Uh, go to <laughs> save. And just save it. The, yeah, just save it the top one. We'll save the uh, second one in case like something messes up. No like, problem. Full, How do I switch my view back to where it was? Uh, it's the V. V. Oh, uh, okay. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would get some more items since we pretty much spend it all there. All oh, right. skill. It's close. Actually, that might be good though. Um, if you go to the chapel in the town square, square yeah, you might right. uh, find out new information. Interesting. So that means I need to read. Okay. What on earth? It, it, it. Yes, that is right. I work for Term Finance. <laughs> so you're employed by them, right? What's it like? Um, not that. Not that is not quite accurate. I was contracted to term through another organization. Ooh. Thus, I am not really an employee per se. Uh, is this like the fairy mob or something? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So you're just contracted. I'm surprised. You seem so... It is not that surprising. Almost all fairies in human society belong to a fairy specific contract <laughs> agency. Like Navi, for example. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There are, of course, a few free Asian fairies out there. As well. So that's how it works. Uh, yes. To tell the truth, it can be difficult for fairies to find employment in human society, so the agencies... the oh, okay. In order to help <laughs> facilitate fairy <laughs> livelihoods. That's amazing. <laughs> Quite. Okay, we walked I think we should the end the episode here. Discuss that. What's All that? right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, next time on For Fungies, we're going to actually visit the town square and maybe and then, wrap up this venture and go on a, on yeah, a dungeon crawl. I'm down for that. All right, okay. we'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah.